Curiosity presented in partnership with the University of Phoenix. An educated world is a better world. Following the deaths of more than 1,500 people who perished aboard Titanic, an inquiry was called to answer this simple question. How does an unsinkable ship go down on its maiden voyage? Although blame was spread around, no simple or easy explanation emerged. Instead, on board the world's largest ship, a series of inconsequential events tragically fell into a deadly alignment. Drawing on the testimony of those that survived, this film recreates in forensic detail the final hours of the most famous ship in history to reveal the complex circumstances that created the perfect disaster. Titanic is stranded in the mid-Atlantic after hitting an iceberg. According to the Marconi room, the nearest vessel is Carpathia, 10 hours away. The water is coming on board slowly enough and can be controlled. Titanic will stay afloat and help will reach them. That is the gamble Captain Smith has made. The lives of the crew and the passengers depends on how quickly the water overcomes the ship. Eight decks beneath their feet, the water has managed to find its way between the hull and the double floor and is flowing into all her intricate and complex architecture. Understanding how to help Titanic survive is enormously complicated. It would require a knowledge of the vessel only Thomas Andrews, the man who designed her, has. Fortunately, he is on board. Is it hot? We're losing the boiler rooms. Have you assessed the damage? The carpenter sounded the ship. Wild and Boxall have had a look. It's not good. Right then. Tell me to look at sails and. The situation isn't good. Hold one, a vast space behind the bow, was one of the first areas to start flooding. Now the water reaches up six entire floors, all the way from the keel to the well deck. Hold three flooded to 20 feet in the first 10 minutes. Since then, the depth has doubled. Boiler room six is now under 10 feet of water. One by one, the water is overcoming Titanic's defenses and taking over the ship.